<laughs> Hello everybody, it's Precious Pioneer and welcome back to my channel. I know that it has been kind of a while since I posted a video. I think that I have been a little bit busy and overwhelmed with school. Um, my days are incredibly long, starting sometimes really, really early in the morning because I also teach. Um, so sometimes my days range from like 2 a.m. all the way until class that starts at 8 and recently like class has been ending around like 4 30 p.m. and so by the time like I shower and get ready it's like dark especially you know with the time changes and all these things but I am happy to say that I am back for good and hopefully we'll be posting a lot more consistently. I think that this whole video inspiration came from like a mini revelation that I had uh, maybe a couple of weeks back. Um, I think that there is this misconception oftentimes when you're moving to a new location um, about the beauty and the glam of a new experience and though for the most part that is so true and I think I have been taking my time and trying to embrace it a lot more. I think that sometimes when I am overly productive and I have so much on my plate that I'm like constantly busy, you, or at least for me, you lose sight, you lose sight of that. You know, you don't have enough time to stop and smell the roses and enjoy the environment that I, that I am currently in. And so I think one day, two weeks ago or something, I was just tired. I just remember like being towards the end of the day and I have like this tutoring session kind of at the end um, of my classes where you could uh, continue learning or you can go home if you kind of want to. And I'm like, you know what? I am exhausted. I'm gonna go home. You know what? No, I'm gonna go to the beach. <laughs> and so I just like went home through together like a picnic for myself and I'm like you know what like I want to catch the sunset I think um one of the perks of living in Barcelona is being so close to the beach and um I really wanted to enjoy that more it's not something that I get to do every day but I could definitely do it every day here like <laughs> so I really wanted to just pack up and do that I didn't really want to invite anybody it was kind of in a mindset of just i want to take this space for myself and to do a self-care sort of thing and having a picnic and a bottle of wine and uh avocado toast and little pastries and just enjoying the day and being alone with my thoughts i guess <laughs> This is kind of a weird camera angle. Um, I don't know, I felt like today I needed to get away and find some, no oh, excuse me, um, not necessarily peace, but I needed to spend the day by myself, I think. Sometimes I get caught up in the day to day and I realize that I've been in school for most of my life. And when people ask me how I am, I usually say busy or studying or something like that. 
and it's such a crappy answer to like respond to for the, my life thus far I suppose and so I think I'm learning to kind of adjust and to take days and moments for myself and before I got here I always told myself I'd spend most of my time at the beach swimming or catching the sunset or the sunrise and I'm not the best with discipline or keeping promises to myself but I hope to change that and I'm just happy you guys are on this journey with me because life out here is a little bit different than what I expected um, to be honest First off, that day was really, really, really cold. Um, <laughs> and I ate all the food, which is really great. But I also was just thinking about uh, my experience here this far. And I had like a really honest talk with myself. I think that I want to slow down a little bit because I think um, for the first couple of months when you're in a new place or even the first couple of weeks, everything is so new and glamorous and beautiful. And then once you're here and then you settle for a little bit, you start to notice the small things of like inconveniences or things that are a little bit different or you wish things were the way that they were before. For me, like I kind of miss the food that I had back home a little bit. I miss, you know, my family, my friends, or just different environmental things that are just a little bit different and so adjusting to that is like a learning curve and so um, I think another small like revelation that I had was talking with my sister I was explaining like just the shopping here in Barcelona is just crazy different and a little interesting than it is in the United States and also the Spanish culture I don't know if it's just Barcelona so me generalizing I'm haven't been to Madrid and other places but I'm just assuming this is like a part of the culture is every the like the they take on the motto of like on my own time which is like on your own like just on your own time like I will walk you know gracefully and like just stroll down the street or I'll park my car in the middle of traffic to run to the grocery store to pick something up and traffic be damned because I'm just gonna park my car here like it's just a very um, slow paced culture which is again like a polar opposite from what I'm used to of like the go 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 hustle do your best um, everybody's ambitious or trying to be this like entrepreneur like ex CEO exec and I'm just like whoa like this is like a different pace of the day. Like um, I've like even run to issues where like going to a store or a market, you have to plan for stuff like to go in the middle of the city for some random small little thing that you need. But because there's like this siesta, this break that they have in the middle of the day, usually from like maybe like one to three or something like that. I've run into cases where they just didn't open after their break and so I like, traveled like 30, 40 minutes to this place and they just weren't open on a Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> and so things like that, I'm just like, what is going on? And I, I think my other revelation came in, I was talking to my sister and she's like, well, you know, you're obviously in a different place, but if you feel like you are in a rush to go some to, to these places or like you're always in a rush and you feel like people around you are moving too slow then maybe you're just going too fast and even though that sounds like really simple advice it kind of is what clicked for me like if i am constantly like running or rushing to a place and like trying to meet deadlines and trying to like burn my candle at both ends and maybe i just need to just relax you know <laughs> like i deserve to take a break or time off if I need even if it's just through YouTube I love making videos but I think that would have just been another thing that I could not like organize and I maybe I needed to rearrange my priorities a little bit and I feel like I'm finally at that place which is really great <laughs> for you and for me because I really loved creating videos I just like was too stressed out I was like I don't have time for anything besides maybe sleep and like even I wasn't even eating well I was like eating pastries only because I didn't feel like cooking because I was so tired but now I like flipped everything around to get enough sleep and to go to the gym and find a healthy balance in my life and then go to 
school on time and not be running late every day. So I'm finding like a rhythm. I think that sometimes that adjustment period of like what you're used to, like the flow of your days, like it took me a really long time to get to this place where I can just talk to you guys and I don't know, uh, share that share that with you. And I'm excited to create content for you guys, of course. I um, always uh, feel welcome to leave comments below, questions that you have about the area, anything about the school that I'm going to, anything um, that you wanna know or content that you wanna see. I hope to create videos in the future capturing stories of like the culture and like my day to day here in Barcelona. Um, I've met so many cool mentors and restaurant professionals and uh, chefs and friends and I'd love to um, showcase different highlights uh, that they bring into my life. I think that's it. I think after those two things I kind of enjoy life a little bit more which I think is important, you know. Uh, this year it's been weird with like the coronavirus shutdown. It's still even impacting us here. Um, restaurants and stores close around like three o'clock every day. So it's like a empty sort of feeling, calming, but sometimes I think that weird sensation of like always wearing a mask and always trying to be protected and safe of everybody in your surroundings kind of plays a toll, even if it's like a small one. Um, that may accumulate over time so I encourage you guys to check in with yourselves and I hope that you are doing great and I wish you nothing but health and prosperity and I look forward to seeing you guys in future videos. Bye! <laughs>